You open the heavy wooden door at Jungkook's office. The air is filled with the smell of leather and his cologne. The room is dimly lit with just a dark lamp illuminating the large wooden desk covered in papers and a sleek laptop. Jungkook sits behind the desk, his dark eyes focused on the screen in front of him. His black suit jacket is draped over the back of his chair, the top buttons of his white shirt undone, revealing a glimpse of his stone chest. The air around him radiates power and authority, the kind that comes with being the head of the mafia. As you walk towards him, his eyes flicker up to meet yours, a small, tired smile curling up his lips. Hi, love. He said with a smile, his voice soft but laced with the undertone of command that never seems to leave him. Missed me? You said making your way around the desk. You can see the tension in his shoulders, the tiredness in his eyes from the long day. Always, but what are you doing here? He asked, sliding his laptop aside and turning his chair towards you. You didn't say anything and climbed onto his lap. His arms wrapped around your waist and he pulled you closer. You rest your head against his chest. Feeling the steady beat of his heart beneath your ear. Sam takes me here. He said that you had an important meeting to attend today and you'll not be home in the afternoon. So I thought why don't I be there in your office instead. I have to get bored at the mansion alone anyways. And today, it was really a hectic day in the university. I needed that daily dose of yours. He chuckled and nodded. You have been working too hard. You whispered, your fingers tracing idle patterns on his chest. I have to. You know that my wife really likes to empty my card. You smiled broadly up at him, your eyes dancing with amusement. Jungkook always teased about your shopping habits, but he never truly minded. Your hands continue to drift across his chest, slowly easing the stress from his body. That's my right and you can't stop me for doing that. Jungkook chuckled again, his hands gently tracing circles on your back. He loved these moments where he could forget about his worries and just be with you. I wouldn't dream of stopping you, baby. As long as I get to see that smile on yours. You chuckled softly, your heart warming at his words. Leaning closer, you pressed a gentle kiss to his lips, feeling the tension melt away between you. Have you finished the meeting or is there still something left? It will take some time. The most important meeting of mine is yet to be started. You nodded and looked around and your eyes fall on his bookshelf. Wow, you really have lots of books. You get time to read them. Why not? You want one? He said raising his brows even when he knows that. You are already fed up with your syllabus books. I would prefer to get their review from you. You looked at him and again packed his lips. Jungkook smiled and tapped on your nose lovingly. Okay, so let's do a book review at night today. Do you want me to stay or would you prefer some quiet time to focus? Jungkook smiled softly, his thumb gently brushing your cheek. You can never disturb me. I would love for you to stay and sleep here to get some relaxation. You must be tired, right? Yes, I'm just waiting for the graduation day so that I can get rid of all these chaotic things and will get more time to spend with you. He didn't say anything, just chuckle and slide his laptop back at front to finish the work he had stopped in the middle when you came. It won't take much time. We will go home after this meeting, okay? You nodded, realizing how important his responsibilities were, even though you wished things could be different. Shifting slightly to get more comfortable, you soon found yourself soothed by the warmth of his body and the steady rhythm of his heartbeat drifting into a dozing state. He yawned and wrapped your arms around his torso. Wake me up when the meeting starts. I don't want to distract you in any way. You said as your voice barely above a whisper as sleep started to overtake you. Jungkook holds you tighter, his grip both protective and possessive. Don't worry, I'll handle everything. 
his voice the last thing you hear before you drift off completely feeling safe and loved in his arms as you sleep jungkook continues to work his free hand typing away on the keyboard every so often he glances down at you a soft uncharacteristic smile gracing his features in this moment despite the chaos of his world everything feels right he placed a soft kiss on your head and taking his coat that was hanging on the chair he put that on you covering up your body so these small moments around his office won't disturb you time seemed to stand still in the quiet comfort of jungkook's office the ticking of the clock on the wall is the only sound that breaks the silence a gentle reminder of the some business why don't you go lie down on the couch i'll be done soon you nod sliding off his lap and heading towards the plush couch in the corner of the room jungkook watched you go his eyes filled with a mix of concern and adoration once you settled he stands and straightened his shirt becoming the powerful leader once again as soon as your body rested on the soft couch you fall asleep jungkook again kissed your head and walked out Time passes slowly in the quiet of Jungkook's office. You are curled up on the couch with a soft blanket over you, drifting in and out of sleep. The warmth and scent of Jungkook still linger, providing comfort even when he's not there. Suddenly the door opens quietly. Jungkook steps inside, his expression grave but determined. He looked around the room, his gaze softening when he sees you peacefully asleep. His heart aches with both love and concern for you. Jungkook walks over to you, kneeling down beside the couch. He gently brushes a strand of hair from your face. His touch light and tender. You stir slightly at his touch, but don't wake. 
He sighed softly, straightened up and looked around the room. Without waking you up, he quickly picked up his phone and dialed a number. Hyunjin, gather everyone here for the meeting. Hyunjin's voice cracked up over the line, confirming his understanding. Jungkook nods to himself before hanging up. He checks on you once more, making sure you are comfortable before he moves back to his desk, where he begins to prepare for the meeting. Minutes later, the door opens again as Hyunjin and the rest of Jungkook's team files in. All of their eyes went to the sleeping figure on the couch, but no one dared to say anything. Their expression serious and focused. They take their seats around the large wooden desk. Thank you all for coming. Let's get started. He said, his voice calm and commanding. The meeting goes smoothly, with Jungkook leading the discussion with precision and authority. He makes every decision carefully, thinking about the risk and consequences. The room is filled with voices discussing strategy and logistics. But Jungkook's thoughts often drift to you. Occasionally, he glanced at you, sleeping, and a small smile appears. He is grateful for the peace and quiet around you, knowing you are safe and undisturbed. Everyone around there were also a little shocked as they never saw him with such emotions and smile on his face but right now he doesn't care. For his lady he can be anything that no one except. After that it's about doing silly things for her or it's just about laughing in her lame jokes. He can do anything just to see that smile on her face. As the meeting drawn to a close, Jungle gives final instructions to his team. Keep me updated on all developments and ensure that security is tightened around the parameter. Everyone nodded and gathering their files and other stuff they started to left. Alone once more, Jungkook walks back over to where you were sleeping. He kneels down beside the couch once again, brushing a gentle kiss against your forehead. You stayed awake this time, blinking up at him with sleepy eyes. Hey love, he murmurs softly, his voice filled with love and relief. You sniff and turn to him, wrapping your arms around his hand and closing your eyes again. Is everything okay? Yes. Did you sleep well, love? You nodded and opened your eyes, smiling slightly at him. You placed a soft kiss on his hand. You must be tired. Want to have some rest? You said opening your arms, welcoming him to take some rest with you. You look so energetic after sleeping for hours. Let's go, we are going home. Yes, I was also thinking the same. It's a better idea. He got up and grabbed his coat and the car keys but you were still lying on the couch. He turned back at you and raised his brows. You smile and open your arms. Carry me, I'm too lazy to walk. He chuckled and walking back to you, he carried you in his arms while you laughed. Wow, you never failed to impress me by your actions. You said squeezing his biceps while he laughed and walked out of the office without caring about the eyes that were staring at you both shocked. Okay, now sleep. He said while keeping the book on the nightstand and turning off the lights. You sighed and moved closer to him and hugged his waist even tighter. He looked at you. I don't feel like sleeping. I had slept enough at the afternoon. Jungkook looked down at you, his eyes softening in the dim light. What do you feel like doing then? You looked up at him, your eyes sparkling with mischief and affection. I just want to talk to you. Tell me more stories. Jungkook chuckled softly, brushing a strand of hair away from your face. He kissed your forehead. Alright, one more story, but after that, you need to try and sleep, okay? He nodded eagerly, nestling closer to him. Jungkook thought for a moment and began. As he continued the story, his voice became a soothing lullaby. He listened intently, feeling safe and cherished in his arms. Slowly, your eyes began to droop, the warmth of his presence. Jungkook noticed your breathing steadying and smiled softly. He kissed your forehead and whispered, Good night, my love. With you now asleep in his arms, Jungkook allowed himself to relax, feeling complete with you by his side.